So, my first tip for memorizing algorithms is never memorize algorithms by letter numbers. I mean, just letters or numbers because it's very slow when you want to execute them and it's hard to do. Uh, what I do is my algorithms is I just read them off the page for a while and then I get the feel for it in my fingers. Just keep on doing it and so I think I got it down. And then after maybe I do it maybe 20 times, I try to do it without looking at the sheet. And then if I can do that, I usually stop for a little bit. And then I will come back maybe 20 minutes later and try to do the algorithm again. If I can, I just look at the sheet again and just repeat the process until I got I have that algorithm down. Another tip is for look for these things called triggers, which are little form move patterns that are extremely common in algorithms. The most common one is R U R prime U prime. Another one is R prime F R F prime. It's also very common. Another one is uh a variation of the R U R prime U prime, which is R U R prime U. It's also very common. These triggers appear in almost every algorithm, like to say the P permutation, which is this. Even just at the beginning, if R U R prime U prime, R prime F R two U prime R prime U prime R U R prime, and then instead of a U prime, they just have an F prime. There'll be very, uh, there'll be many variations of R U R prime U prime. Like in this case, it's R U R prime F prime at the very end, but there's still an R, U, R prime, U prime in the beginning. So when you see those, you can memorize them as groups instead of four different things. Like on this case, where these two are switched and these two are switched, it's R, U, R prime, F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, T, U prime, R, U. So you can see those triggers in there. And if you memorize those as groups, it's a whole lot easier to memorize it because it's four, three less things that you need to memorize. Another thing to look for is just, you can just compare algorithms to each other. Like, the algorithm for this is extremely similar to the T permutation. And here, I'll perform it really quick and you can see the comparison. This is the T permutation. I'll do it again. And this is this thing. So you can see how similar those two algorithms were. So if you know one, it's pretty easy to learn the other. Another example is, is for this OOO case and for this Y permutation where these are switched and these are switched. Here in the Y permutation algorithm, it's very similar to that of this algorithm. This is actually just the first part of this. And the first part is, and that's going to be this algorithm. And then, so here it's to orient all that. So if you know the Y permutation, you know that OLL case. And, or if you know the OLL case, you know most of the Y permutations. That's like almost a free algorithm there. And also, you can see here, after that first step of the, of the, this case, 
or the Y for mutation, you have this T and everything else is over there. So you know that the second part will orient the T. So you have another free OL case. So that's two free OLL case. These cases, if you know one of the PLL cases, the um, Y permutation. And I also heard that those two sequences are in reverse make up the T permutation. So I haven't tried that, but I've heard it. So uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe to my videos. Really appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.